Uh, welcome, everybody. It is Thursday, 2.30. Keeping it simple today. No whiteboard in the background. Just wanted to talk to you guys. As you know, always start with um, stats. So, the stats now are, again, thank you for everybody for sharing. We ended the month of August with about 1,600 views, and that is amazing. So, either you just like looking at the board, or the content is relatively useful. So that's great. Um, also want to let you guys know from a week in, week out standpoint, our page views last week were 10, or they've been up 30% since last week. Um, the weekly reaches, according to Facebook statistics, about two weeks ago we were at 79 reaches. Um, right now we're at 576 reaches. So you guys have been sharing, People have been sharing who you're sharing with. We ask that you continue to share the videos, put it on any groups that you're a member of, send it to the business person that you know, or if you're thinking about, you know, starting a business yourself, keep it and revisit it from time to time. Hopefully, you know, it can make a difference when that day comes where you're not exactly sure, you know, which way you want to go with your business. And Facebook, I wanted to say thank you again to everybody out there who gave me birthday wishes. You guys made it a great birthday. Thank you guys as well. Um, you, you've been awesome. I'm live on two different streams right now. So I think our other stat that was, you know, shows growth is that the total number of visits per week per um, per week is about 160 some views to our page. So you guys have been great. All right. So that's the stats. Stats are done. Wanted to give a thank you to Ambrose, Chad Durrell. Chad Durrell, Michael Thompson, Howard Franklin, Mark Gay, Rohan, Isaiah Mason, and Brennan, and Tria Hodges. You guys have either sent us referrals, um, you sent us business, um, or we've started doing business with you guys. In any capacity, we thank all of you all. All right, so today we're going to jump into it. I want to talk about really getting started. A lot of people that we spoke to in business and we've done a couple um, workshops and we've also had some people sitting in for counsel um, on one-on-one and a lot of people don't know where to start. They want to make sure, you know, the business is perfect. Um, their value proposition is like ironed out so it can't be ironed out anymore. And you know, that that's great. You know, it's, it's something you should do. You should not go into business winging it. You should have a plan, you should have a strategy. We talked about that in Entrepreneurship 101 Part 1. But you don't want that to um, create paralysis in your thoughts or your actions. Starting a business involves moving forward. It's not just a completely parallel paradigm where you just constantly think of the next thing you can do, the next thing you can do, the next thing you can do, and you never actually take a step forward because you're stepping sideways. You want to be able to step forward with your thoughts, with your actions. Figure out what it is about the business that you you love, not like, not maybe a little bit attracted to, that you love, and hone in on that. Like zero in. We talked about passion versus skill set. Finding that that perfect cross section, and that's where your power comes from. When your passion intersects with your skill set, that's um, power. So you want to take that power and then move forward with it. So when I say move forward. I mean, don't be afraid of tri trial and error. Um, you know, you got heard it from great speakers like Tony Robbins or E.T., um, Les Brown. Um, you know, Gary Vee is like famous for saying this, you know, just do something. Um, figure out how you can move forward in an intelligent manner and do so. Look at your counselors. Who, who are you getting advising from? We talked about earlier in earlier sessions, we talked about Having an advisory board, you guys remember that too. You guys should know it as well. We talk about having an advisory board. Who's on your board? How often do you engage them? Don't engage them just to keep pitching. We get caught in this perpetual cycle of pitching. We're pitching our thoughts, we're pitching what we believe is possible, or we're not showing them market research because we didn't get into the market, or we're showing them market research from someone else. So we did, we, you know, we scraped data from another person's site to give us the you know, the, the security to know that our idea works, 
but it's not our information of when we tried and succeeded and or failed. Get started however you want. You know, you guys have sent some questions in. When is the right time to get started? When the idea is really pressing you. Um, you know, I think everybody gets something put into their spirit that lets them know, okay, this is something I need to pursue because if I don't, the world won't benefit from it and the world needs to benefit from you. Everybody has something in them that makes them, you know, invaluable to the world. And, you know, sometimes we're scared to really release it because the power may not be something that you understand, or you just don't know how to do it and still be profitable because business, you still have to be profitable. So that's where advisors come in. That's where a mentor comes in. That's where a sponsor comes in. A sponsor can help you get started. And if for those that just tuned in, today is about getting started. Now, guys, I want to say, you know, stepping back and I'll tell you my story. Like it was probably Bowie State University. For those that don't, don't know, I went to Bowie State, went to Bowie State. I wanted to become a stockbroker. I didn't want to be an insurance agent. I didn't want to be a financial advisor. I thought I wanted to be on Wall Street. Trading stocks was something I had dreamt about. So, you know, I was, so went to one of my teachers and I was like, you know, I'm going to become a stockbroker. <laughs> I didn't know you needed special certificates to actually be a stockbroker. I thought you just said it and it happened. That's not the way the world works. It didn't work like that for me. It won't work like that for you. So I started to do research. You know, anybody who was a boy in 98, 2000, you guys probably saw me running around campus talking about, I'm going to start an investment club. I found out through research that a legitimate way to start an uh, investment group, couldn't be a business, but it was an investment group, was to be the president of an investment club. So, you know, I consulted one of my friends, Leon Noble, uh, who's now still trading as well. As well. Um, you know, would you like to start an investment club? And of course, we went, we, we've known each other since we were seven. He was like, yeah, I'm with it. So we started Wealth Enterprise LLC. It was like one of the first LLCs that I really was aware of, but I knew you can do it. And by forming this investment club, the LLC gave us protection in case anything went wrong. What I'm getting at is that we started. We didn't know if it'll work, but we were smart. We did research. So we put parameters in place, i.e. the LLC, to protect us in case we made a big mistake. <laughs> so, you know, but we started. You guys need to start. Um, being on campus, we ended up probably within like a two year period, probably managed or having in the investment club about 50 grand. And for somebody who's 18, 20, um, knowing that $50,000 worth of investments were in this world because of an idea that me and a friend had is an amazing feeling. Um, even now, you fast forward, you guys know I just turned 41. So I'm starting, you know, I'm in business. This is my office. You know, we, you know, life is going the way it's supposed to go. And still to this day, I feel like consulting people and helping people create businesses is a passion I've always had. And the businesses create wealth. Wealth gets generated into the community. The community grows. I can say I had a really small piece in that, but you guys can also say you have a piece in that. You know, if you are a business person watching this and you've had the opportunity to, you know, employ someone, do it. For those of you all who are in business but feel like, oh, I don't make enough, I don't, I can't bring on somebody, but you need to get started and you need energy. Starting a business requires a lot of energy and you need the right energy around you because there's negative energy. Then it's positive energy and it, it matters because there are going to be days where you're already down just from how the business runs. And, you know, um, David Curry, if you're watching um, from Benson's Technology, he was on it. He was on about three weeks ago. Him and I both have been friends forever, too. He started his business and, and there are highs and lows. And there are days where he might be at a high energy level or I'm at a low energy level. But we'll, you know, consult. We'll advise each other on business practices, technology, um, investing, whatever it might be. And that kind of brings him up on certain days. It brings me up on certain days and allows us to keep pushing forward. You have to have your network. That goes back to what we talked about. Who are you in your natural network? Are you a connector? Are you 
the person that just is really good at coordinating details? Are you um, the creative one? Are you the uh, the question that the person is inquisitive and you always ask questions why? You, you provoke thought. Whoever you are, all these things are tied into getting started. They're tied into running a business. It's tied into being successful or failing. And the fears that we have a lot of times about putting ourselves out there are well grounded. You know, it's, it's hard. Business is hard. But the right support structure takes away part of that fear. Because you know if you do fail, nobody's there to laugh at you. Um, no one's there to kick you while you're down. And sometimes I think we we get we turn into ourselves into soldiers of business and we want to do everything in spite of that person that said you couldn't. And that's your reason for doing it. That's not a good reason. You should do it because your passion matches your skill and it makes sense. Somewhere it was put into your soul that this is a gift you have to give to the world and you need to give it to them. Because when you release that talent inside you, and I'll, I'll say, you know, um, let's, let's talk about the real bonds. Food looks amazing. So, and in that company, they help people um, with rehab work on their house or to complete projects that they need help with. I think they will be the next Angie's List. But, you know, whenever Chad gets out there and he helps somebody add a leak in the roof and this person doesn't know where the leak came from, how it got there or how to fix it. When he comes in and his company fixes it, that changes somebody. That changes their life. That makes things better for them. So, you know, Thanks for calling, guys. Appreciate the call. <laughs> I should turn my phone off. But if you just DM me, it works best right now. Um, you know, that talent, that passion that he put into the world is going to change somebody's life. And we all have the opportunity to do that. And, that, and there's nothing to say there's nothing wrong with going to a 9 to 5. And you, you're a part of the team and you're building towards something this mega huge. That's great. You know, I mean, we, we need that. That is a necessity in this world. Um, be the best at your job. Be the best at who you are. I'm, and th this is particularly for entrepreneurs, though. So, you know, when I say these things, I'm speaking to that community of people who are, and for this conversation, who are sitting on the edge of the bench like, okay, I want to jump in, but I don't know if it's the right time because it needs to be perfect. All my ducks need to be in a row before I can start shooting them down. Don't think that. Do revisit, guys, really, like entrepreneurship, uh, one on one part, one, two, three, four, five. Revisit them and just pull out, extract the pieces where we're talking about the teams that you can build or the technology you can put in place or the structures you can add because all that kind of lines up to getting in the game. And when you get in, you get in to those who, again, entrepreneurs out there who have like S Corps tax season, it's time um, for taxes. And so you may have curiosity about like, what do I do? Like, oh, I have a sub chapter S. And the tax season is upon us. What do I do? Did you keep your books all year? Who was on your team? Um, and if you do have that, I'll give you my team member. It's um, the law office of Beverly Winstead. You can find her on Facebook. She's a tax attorney, and she also does tax planning. And she does IRS litigation for those who might be in trouble. <laughs> so, and hope that's not you, but, you know, that's part of my team, and I give her openly to you guys. Contact her, find her on Facebook. Now I go. This is that one? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we had the internet. Is it, am I still live? Yeah. Okay, so where does where, where did it leave off? Team. Your team. Team. Did, did I gave them the team number? Did they get it? You got to get them all. Okay. So we just had, um, <laughs> so the internet just had a glitch. I don't know why. But I guess we're back on now. So what I was saying is that you have to have a team. I hope this picks up smoothly. If it doesn't, and there's the redundancy, it's a necessary redundancy. So what I was saying is I'm giving you guys some of the names of the people on my team who, you know, hopefully they think that I'm on their team as well. It's Beverly Winstead. Um, tax filing is coming up September, I think, 15th for subchapter S's. So if you guys don't have your paperwork in order, you, you know, you're still trying to figure it out, um, you can find the law office of Beverly Winstead on Facebook. And I then was talking about people who filed the business owners who filed an extension, um, October's right around the corner. And a lot of times with the, when you file an extension, it's because you have to get something in order. Um, money, your books, um, your files, something wasn't in order to make you, or you just wanted more time. You might just want more time. Long story short, um, 
Makia Bourne, she has a company that's called um, Synergy Accounting Services. If you guys need to put your books in order or if you just need a second opinion on maybe the books that you already have, you need a QuickBooks, she's a pro. Um, you definitely want to talk to her about getting your um, paperwork and your, your financial structure in place. And that I was saying, actually I was talking while the camera was off, so now I'm trying to remember my thoughts. But basically, when you have a team like that, because they are, my, you know, part of my team, and you know, they're advisors to me, and I, you know, I cherish that relationship. So, who's on your team? Because that helps you make steps forward into new uncharted areas. Um, because I know they really will help me with anything that I need help with, um, as it relates to their businesses. I can take bolder steps. I can, you know, walk in a vision that maybe a stretch for some, but when you have somebody that really is supporting you, it's not such a stretch. So really, look at your teams, guys. Um, it, it, it matters a lot because it goes back to the energy piece. If you have positive energy flowing into you, it's easier to get back up when you get knocked down. And in business entrepreneurship, you will get knocked down sometimes. Um, people have reached out to us. They've come. We had a couple people come to um, for consultation services with myself and Kwan. You can't see him. He's behind the camera. But, you know, he... Kwan Glover, if you want to find him. He, he just put a bunch of fancy pictures up on his, <laughs> um, his page. He's looking kind of smooth. But anyway, so, you know, you, you have people in place. If you guys wanted to contact me, DM me, and just ask me, who do I know? We did that whole series last week on who do you know who. Ask your friends, who do you know who is a good contract attorney? Um, ask your network, who do you know who is a good accountant? Um, action Network, who do you know who's a good visionary? Because that's necessary in business a lot of times. It's just being bold and just trying to figure out what can I do that everyone would think is crazy and then making it work. Because that, like the internet is going right. out. I don't know why it's happening, but because we're feeding two live um, platforms, we're just going to keep going. And when it comes back on, it's like, is it live now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this... This is what I wanted to get to. This was the part I was like, you know, we're growing. You guys are sharing these all over the place, and that's awesome. We hope that you keep doing that, keep sharing it, because the message really for, for us is just that people hear it. Because sometimes it's just what you need. You need to get some guidance that is, you know, it's no cost. Nobody's really trying to sell you anything. It's, it's in our hearts, and we're giving it to you guys. Um, one of the things is we're starting to become a platform for people who, have services they need and or they want to market their companies. And that's great. So one of the attorneys that we work with actually gave me um, the heads up that they have a couple of positions they want to fill. So I wanted to say if anybody out there who's interested in working with the, uh, a law firm, um, the company is looking for a client coordinator. So client coordinator, a marketing coordinator. So if you have social media savvy and you understand how to run campaigns um you understand how to maneuver through the social media world um please dm me there's a possible position for a paralegal so if you know any paralegals again this is maybe not you but you know somebody who and so this is how i'm asking you who you know who is a paralegal looking for a position and there's also um, a, a position that may come um, available for an estate planning attorney. So if you guys know a client coordinator, marketing coordinator, possible paralegal, and estate planning attorney, please DM me. Hopefully it can work out for them. It can work out for whoever utilizes this information. And that will be it for us to, today. So if you have any questions for next week, DM me. Um, you can find us on all the social media platforms. I said it last week, so you guys should know more by now. I'm, I'm actually going to work on having it written so I can just give it to you, a hold, hold up a sheet of paper or something. And for those that have been trying to contact me directly to set up an appointment, um, DM me as well because it's, it's just been the easiest way for me to kind of keep everything in order. We're getting busy, and a lot of people are trying to get organized before the end of the year, so um, business consulting is just in, in a necessary thing right now. So call us if you need us. I'm going.